Hello and welcome to the Apsara Video Live tutorial. Firstly, we will show you how to add a new domain name to the Apsara Video Live platform and bind a CNAME. Before we start, we will make two assumptions. First, that you have an account with Alibaba Cloud and second, that you do not want to stream to mainland China. If you do want to stream to mainland China, you need to apply for an ICP license and go through the real name authentication process. You can find out more about live streaming in mainland China in our Epsara Video Live white paper, which is available on the Alibaba Cloud website. Let's start. First of all, click on the Epsara Video Live link. This will bring up the management console. You need to set up a live video domain to stream your content. To do this, just click Add New Domain and copy in your domain name here. When you are done, click Next Step. An alert will come up about the CNAME binding. We will go over this shortly. Click OK. Your domain name will appear here. It may take a moment for your domain to configure. Once the status changes to normal, we are ready to move to the next step. In this next step, we need to modify the DNS and CNAME record of the live video domain name we've just added. To do this, highlight the CNAME and copy this by hitting Ctrl-C on your keyboard. Next, you need to go to the Domains area of the Management Console. We can see our domain here. Click Resolve and then click Add Record. Now, select CNAME. Put in www as the host. Leave the ISP line and TTL settings as the default values and copy in the CNAME into the value field. Hit Confirm. The resolution has now been added. Now we will teach you how to configure the authentication for your live streaming activities and then how to play back any live streams you create. First, let's go through the default authentication procedure. You can either use the default settings to configure the authentication or customize the authentication. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the default procedure. On the domain name you want to use on the Epsara Video Live platform, simply click Detail and then click Go to Generate Authentication URL. A window will appear. Simply click Start to generate and then click to copy the URL authentication address and hit OK. You can now use this URL authentication address within your third-party streaming service to create a live stream. Once you have completed a live stream, go to the Streams area of the Epsara Video Live console and to see any past video streams, click History. Here, you will see a list of live streams. If you want to play back a live stream, simply click Address and you will have a range of options where you can copy the URL of a format and paste it into your encoder or browser to play the content back. That's it. Thank you for watching. Log into your account and head to the main console to get started now with Apsara Video Live on Alibaba Cloud.